Okay, so finally, after waiting about four weeks, so I ordered this when I got back from Microsoft MVP Summit, and it has just arrived after quite a long wait. So let's unbox this and see what it is. We have a Windows 365 Link device. Not a thin client, I must say. So here we go. Here is our device. Let's just unwrap it. Here we go. This is the Windows 365 Link device. You can see how small it is. It's smaller than my hand. Very Microsoft looky. Has a Microsoft Surface logo, you might say. It's not officially a Surface device. We have a power button on the front. We have a USB port on the front. Weirdly, no USB-C port on the front. Uh, we have a headphone jack. We have a Kensington lock adapter around here. And then at the back, we have our full plethora of ports as well. Like there's some Braille on the back there. We have our USB-C. We have a couple of USB-A ports. We have HDMI ports. We have an Ethernet adapter. And of course, we have power adapter. And this does also support Wi-Fi, so that's good. Uh, nice little rubber feet. Uh, it's really sturdy, really small, really light device. So very shortly, we'll be powering it up and we'll see how it performs as a dedicated Windows 365 client device. Now I'm hoping that everything on the Microsoft 365 tenant is set up correctly. We are already using Windows 365, so this should already be done for me. But I have my device here. I've plugged it into the mains. I've connected it to a TV. I have plugged in a keyboard, which is the minimum requirements to use. I'm going to use Wi-Fi for this, and I'm going to plug the device in we're going to see what happens on screen. You can see here the startup is pretty quick. We get a Windows logo and the device boots straight into the operating system. There's no way of sideloading any other applications on this device either. So all you can do with the Windows 365 Link device is boot straight to Windows 365. And what will happen now is the device will ask me to sign in. So I need to sign in with my organizational ID. Because I've got MFA deployed within our environment, it will ask me to authenticate with that. So I'm going to sign in. Okay, so the device is now rebooting. So I'm hoping this has worked. So I recognise who I am. There we go. This is the first sign-in that the device is doing. And here we go. We are now in my Windows 365 Cloud PC. It has signed me in. If I go up here to Settings, you can see I'm on my cloud PC. This is my cloud PC enterprise, big CPU, 30 gb of RAM. So I can get to all my applications. It's my full desktop. And just to prove it's my full desktop, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sign in on my Surface device just to show you that if I sign in again on my other device, it will then switch that session between those devices. So I'm just going to do that now. So here we are on my Surface device. I'm going to connect here and sign in. And because you can only be signed into a Cloud PC at the same point, it is now left this device. And it's going to transfer the session straight to here. And you see I'm exactly the same screen as I was in before on my laptop. So pretty cool. Pretty clever, um, works an absolute treat. So there we go. 
that's Cloud PC. And now because this is a Windows 365 Link video, we are now going to switch back to our Windows 365 Link device by simply just logging on and transferring the session across. In fact, before I sign in again here, you'll see if we scroll down here, we do actually get some, um, some options. So we can shut down, we can go to sleep. Uh, we can get to a couple of the other settings here, like language and display. So I'm now going to sign back in to my Cloud PC. Now you'll notice here, because I got signed out, it's taking me straight back. So the device has essentially reset itself and it's back to the main logon screen. So I'm just gonna sign in again here. You can see now my desktop's been transferred. I'm now on here and I've been signed out of my cloud PC on my laptop device. So there you go, pretty cool. So a couple of really good uses for Windows 365 Link rather than using a laptop with Windows 365 app on it is that it works really well in those scenarios where you don't need a full PC or maintaining of devices is quite difficult. So that could be in remote offices, that could be in breakout spaces, that could be in frontline areas such as reception desks or areas like that that maybe don't have full-time IT administrators. Being a Windows 365 PC, low cost, £314 I paid for mine. Uh, I'm sure you can get better if you buy in bulk. The ability simply just to have a device to sign in with a license. The license is assigned to the user which controls the spec of the PC so you can have users with lower spec devices and users with higher spec devices. Microsoft even have options for Windows 365 with GPUs within them. Uh, it just makes for a really affordable, really secure, really easy to manage environment. The other use case that I see is in place of laptops which you might say Rob that sounds crazy but just hear me out. If you have people that either work from home in their home office or work in an office and travel between the two occasionally, a day a week, two days a week, three days a week, four days a week, then it can provide a really cost-effective option whereby they can have a device at home, which is essentially theirs, connected to their home office, and they have a device uh, in the office or their devices in the office, and thereby, when they're working at home, they're using Windows Cloud PC through their link device, they've got their own device, their own peripherals, their own screens, etc. They can simply walk away from that device, turn it off, walk away, get on the train, get in the car, come into the office. They then can simply sign in to one of the Cloud PCs in the office, either a link device or just a, a dedicated laptop even, or, or PC device in the office with, with the Windows app on it, and their session is immediately transferred. So not only do they have a seamless experience, it's again super secure, super consistent. There's no updates, there's no builds to manage. It just provides a really end-to-end -end scenario. So even if you looked at purchasing two link devices, one for home, one for the office, at most, you're paying about 700 pounds, uh, plus of course the cost of the Cloud PC license. But from a device perspective, there's nothing on it, super secure, there's nothing to break, nothing to go wrong. In the event you do need to replace the device, you simply send out a new device, the user switches it on, the signs in. Really, really simple. So that's Windows 365 Link. So just to summarize, small, compact, less than 320 pounds, includes multiple connections, designed specifically for Windows 365. This will not work on ABD currently. It is designed specifically for Windows 365, it runs its own operating system uh, designed specifically to function as a gateway connection to Windows 365. So similar in concept to a thin client, but designed specifically for Windows 365. It's easy, lightweight management of the endpoint, completely managed within Intune. It supports all modern authentication methods, including FIDO, passwordless authentication. There is no data stored on the device at all, and everything is reset when the user logs off. Full automatic updates. There's no access to the firmware. There's no need to plug anything in. There's no need, uh, reason to run firmware updates on the device. It's all managed centrally. It's also secured from chip to cloud, so it uses the same security layers that Microsoft built into the Surface devices. This includes TPM, Secure Boot, BitLocker, 
hypervisor code integrity, and of course, compatibility with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Sensor, which is built into the device. So thank you for listening to this. If you have any comments or questions, please drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to come back to you. Thanks very much and have a good day.